Hi guys, it's SSJNC UK here, bringing you possibly my worst ever Moab. I'm using the MP5, I cannot, I think it was silencer and rapid fire actually. Um, not the one I would usually use, but um, I think pretty much everyone on the opposite team rage quits and that's the reason why. Um, I join halfway through, well not halfway through, a minute or two, and I'm sort of straight into the action, not sure where people are. There are some others in this gameplay, I think... I actually, in, well not invite someone, but I think one of my allies actually joins later on. Possibly on the opposite team, I cannot remember. It was a while ago, that's why I can't remember. Um, also, the intro that I'm doing, it's coming along, but it will not be up for maybe two days at least. I'll try and get it finished as quickly as possible. Um, it's sort of a cinematic version of me doing different things you'll find out and then after that sort of 20 second little bit then then sort of another 20 seconds of almost like a montage clip of different decent shots like a mini taj pretty much and that will be the intro and that'll be it so other than the intro um i received a message from bumblebee who's part of the hive clan he um it's not one well, sort of founded the NSL, which is the No Scrubs League. I, ve I vaguely mentioned this in my previous video. The No Scrubs League is a league um, for Call of Duty uh, clans on the Wii. Uh, the first season, which was done earlier this year, in April, I think, um, was between six clans, and it was pretty much like a three... I think it was three points for a win, or one point... For, I don't remember, but there's a scoring system and the C4K clan, which is led by, oh yeah, Cookie, Cookie, um, you probably guys know him, well, he, yeah, he was the leader of that clan and they won the whole thing. Now, the season two, I've actually entered the SAS, well, at least tried to, into this league, and what's happening is on Saturday, i.e. tomorrow, the 1st of September, Saturday, there is a test match between the SAS and SICK, and I is the exclamation mark. I haven't come across them before, I've never heard of them. And um, the because most of my clan members are from the UK, I want all the SAS members, um, even though we only need four people, um, I think, so there'll actually only be three people others, because I'll be playing... Um, I won't be playing every single match. This is, of course, if we get into the league, I'll have to find out. I'm not sure. It could be... It's a testing match, but I'm not actually sure what's going to happen. I'll have to find out tomorrow. And the timing is at 8 o'clock GMT. Or, at uh, the time when it's set, I think it's 12 o'clock noon PST. Pacific time, I think it is. Um, I'm not quite sure, but... That's when it is. Um, this league is not just go use FMG, FMG Night Akimbo's and rage the whole time. This actually has some rules to it. Which is the one thing which is actually pretty good about this whole thing in the first place. Um, I'm not sure what the rules are. Mm, sorry, I got, a, uh, I got a blocked nose at the moment. I don't know why, I haven't actually got a cold. But um, I'm struggling to talk at the moment, sorry about that. But um, there are some rules, including weapons banned and kill streaks and strike packages, um, which are banned, um, different equipment, which is banned. Um, there's a, there are two videos that I'll be putting in the description. One is just sort of the basics of the NSL, which is the Season 2 video, I'll put that in the description, and there's also the Season 1 rules. It sort of gives you an idea of what the rules are going to be for Season 2. I'm not sure what they are yet, but um, I will be uh, discussing this with some of the other clan members, uh, the clan leaders, uh, through Skype, as well as Bumblebee, who's pretty much hosting the entire thing. Uh, one thing they do do, which hopefully does give a fair sort of no, no advantage to anyone, is that the... All these matches have a neutral host, so they're not... There's 4v4, with one person being a neutral host who will not be playing, probably just spectating. 
So, um, I'll get, I'm just going to name some things now, like Weapons Band, Type 95, PP90, Striker, Akimbo Machine Pistols, and the, just generally the FMG9s aren't allowed. And Rapid Fire on Submachine Guns aren't allowed either. Uh, equipment, which is banned, are the Portable Radars. The strike packages which aren't allowed are the Stealth Bomber, the Airdrop Trap, the Care Package, the AH-6 Overwatch, the Pavlo, both Juggernauts, and the es Escort Airdrop, which sort of gets rid of pretty much all the Assault and Support um, killstreaks, so the only one that can be used really is the um, the Specialist killstreaks, and even then I'm not sure whether you're allowed to be using Assassin or something like that until further on once you get the bonus, I think. I'm not sure. But um, that pretty much underlines the basic rules of what's happening. Of course, there's also no um, grenade launchers, under-barreled things like, well, like the grenade launcher or the sh or the uh, shotguns. Um, as it said, no rapid fire on submachine guns. Uh, I'm not sure about secondaries in terms of, like, the javelin or something. So I'm I'm not I'm sort of I don't really know all the rules yet, but I'm just giving you the basics. So hopefully that will give you guys an idea of what we're going to be going into. Um, so like I said, the first match of the NSL for us, the SAS, will be a test match against Sick. I'll call them at 8 p.m. GMT. I'll invite you guys to a party with. Whoever host it will be. I'll get the ally code of this person sooner or later. Today. So, um... Just going back to this gameplay. I think there's only two people on the opposite team now. Um, I'm a f very long way through my... In fact, there you go. There, I get it. <laughs> I didn't even realise. I haven't been paying attention to um, the gameplay. I just sort of been reading out the um, rules. But, uh, there you go. Sort of jump off, do as many spins. That's the speed of my spinning of the screen. And I get one person killed. That's why it's an epic gameplay. <sighs> this was a bit frustrating at this point. I didn't think I'd get the Moai when there was only one person left. And I think there were five, and possibly even six, if there was some weird hack thing going on. But, um, I don't know. In fact, there you go. Turf Bros who I just knifed, was the only one that joined. Fortunately for him, he wasn't on the opposite team. I think someone else actually does join in, but I can't remember. So, that, there you go, there's about four people in a in their own separate lobby who just arrived, and that's about it. Um, I don't remember how far I get from here. Of course, I don't get very far, because there's about 50 seconds left. So... That's about it, guys. I've just talked about the match I'm going to be playing at 8 p.m. GMT on Saturday, the 1st of September. I need all the, preferably all the SAS to make it. If you can't, please set, uh, leave a comment or send me a private message. Also, I'd like to, um, all of you guys to do one more thing more. Um, is if you are a SAS YouTuber, to shorten the YouTube side of it from YTube to just YT. It just makes things look a bit better with the other SAS that aren't YouTubers. Um, just generally, sorry to the, to you guys in the audience who aren't part of the SAS. This has really sort of excluded you in this particular video. Hopefully I'll give you guys a really good video um, tomorrow when I give you an epic COD4 sniping gameplay. And the day after that, I'll probably show you the results of the match that will happen tomorrow anyway. So um, see you guys soon.